the Czech students, when I encountered them for the first time, uh, uh, were quite different from the students I deal with today. Uh, it was it, it was still the old system. Students uh, uh, brought up in the educationally in the system where they had to memorize when they were not act, uh, asked to be active. They didn't know foreign languages. So my first experience was when I arrived in the in the classroom that all the students were sitting in the back rows. They were afraid to come forward. They were afraid to, to discuss anything. When I told them, look, I'm teaching a subject where there are, there's no Czech literature. Uh, can I give you literature in English? No, they didn't speak any, any languages. Uh, and I have to say that uh, in 2011, uh, the same students, I mean, the, the same class, uh, and totally different students, totally westernized uh, students who travel freely, students who, if you ask them what they did last weekend, oh, I had friends from uh, from Germany, Austria, by the way, I'm going, next semester I'm going to, to study in, in Great Britain, so I won't be around. Um, a different kind of people. And uh, and that that's my, that's my actually, despite my um, very critical um, view of, of the overall state of democracy here, this, this transformation of the young generation uh, is, is uh, the most, uh, most hopeful sign I, I can see here.